This video is actually uh, for my brother. He wanted to me to make a video about the watches I own. Um, he probably he knows all the watches I own. Um, it's not very many, but uh, he probably just wants to see me walk you guys through what I've what I've bought over the past couple of years and uh, see how horrible of a video it is. So uh, I guess I'll get get down to it. Um, so here's the first watch. I actually bought here. Uh, it's a fossil. Um, I think I bought it for around a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars. Um, I want to say five years ago, four and a half years ago. Um, I bought it in the summer of 2012. I was uh, currently working in, in Houston, Texas as an intern. And I had some money and I didn't really have a, an official watch uh, yet. Um, so I figured I would buy myself a, a new watch. And uh, so yeah, you can see it's, it's a decent watch. Um, actually, I think if anything ever goes wrong with the watch, you can take it into Fossil and uh, they hook you up. But I don't wear it enough um, that the, uh, the battery is 100% dead um, if you shut off the lights the dial lights up a tad um, so that's that's pretty sweet uh, then moving on to the third watch I ever bought um, I'd say this is my second favorite watch it's my citizen eco drive um, it operates off of uh, the sunlight it's got a whole bunch of aeronautical uh, material here so it's almost kind of like a pilot's watch or or something like that it talks about fuel usage and, and kilometers an hour and, and crazy stuff like that but uh, and then it's got a whole bunch of other dials in here that I don't really use um, but quick story about this one so I actually hadn't worn this watch in about two or three months and I found it in the, I recently moved I found it in a box uh, when I was unpacking it you know a week or so ago and so I pull it out and the time was a hundred percent off uh, you can see the date is still off. It's the 24th today, or maybe it's the 25th, but uh, it says the 28th. But anyway, um, I put the watch on and uh, take it to work. I was like, I don't really use it to keep track. I have a computer that has it in the lower right-hand corner. But anyway, I put it on, and by the time I got to work, I looked down at the watch just to admire it, and I noticed that the time, uh, even though it was, you know, six hours off before was immediately back on track so um it's that was i was really surprised um anyway this also if it's dark uh, lights up as well um beautiful watch like i said it's my third watch and also probably my my second favorite uh you can tell it's definitely used it's got some marks all over it but this one I don't remember how much it was, but it, was, it wasn't too expensive. Uh, it wasn't like the $800 one that they have. I think it was closer to $250, I think, but I don't remember 100%. So this is a great watch. Like if you don't want to spend, you know, the money to get a Swiss made watch, um, this, I mean, you don't need to get batteries. This thing is just a perfect, perfect watch for, for anyone that is somewhat on a budget, um, but obviously isn't, uh, holding themselves to less than $150. I would definitely go and get that one. Um, and then here is uh, the watch that I bought about two or three years ago uh, once I started working full time. Uh, it's my Rolex Submariner. Um, you can see it's got the Swiss movement, um, eight beats per second. Uh, hopefully, maybe I'll slow it down and see if you guys can see the eight beats per second. But anyway, um, Great watch, um, my most expensive watch, obviously, and it's the last watch I've bought so far. Um, it's obviously used for, for people that dive. I am not a diver, if any of you know who I am actually in person. But uh, yeah, it's got the Rolex all over it. It's got the Rolex clasp. Uh, and then it's also adjustable wrist. Um, for me, um, I'm a pretty big dude, so it swells. My wrists swell up either in the morning or um, if it's hot out. Um, so it's it's nice to uh, this is dirty. I gotta clean it. So my fault. Um, my wrists expand. So um, in the mornings I am able to keep it pretty 
pretty clamped, but then in the afternoons it gets a little tighter, so I let it go. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is my Rolex Submariner. Uh, I love it. I generally wear this one the majority of the time, um, just because it just has the adjustable wrist and, and everything along those lines. Um, but it's great. The bezel spins. So if you're diving, you can place it and say, oh man, well, I only have 60 minutes left and I started, well, let's say I just dove, got 60 minutes left or, you know, 30 minutes left or what have you. You can say, okay, well, now I'm at 30 minutes underneath the water or whatever. This also glows. Um, it's got the, I don't know if it's iridium, I don't know, paint um, that allows the... Uh, I'm marking it up. Uh, that allows the white to glow in the dark. I was actually playing laser tag for a buddy's birthday last weekend, and uh, I thought it was going to be really childish, but it ended up being really cool. But anyway, <clears throat> yeah, they had the black light, and this thing lit up like a Christmas tree. I mean, it was it was beautiful. I had never put it under a black light before, um, and it was really pleasant to see uh, that. You know, obviously, if you're just sitting in a in a darker room at the movie theater or whatnot, it does light up, but uh, not to the extent that it did um, when I uh, when I took it to laser tag. Um, so yeah, great watches. Uh, I recommend all three of these. Uh, this, if you're a budget guy, um, this if you're trying to move into your second tier of watches, and then. Uh, then uh, obviously the Rolex Submariner is probably one of the world's most, sorry, hiccups, one of the world's most popular watches. Um, you can probably see about 50% of the people in the world, if you're walking down the street, have this watch. Um, not really, it's a joke, but um, great place, uh, or great watch overall. Very happy with the purchase, um, very recognizable. Um, uh, yeah, like I said, very recognizable watches. Um, this one great for the budget. This one great if you're trying to step up a little bit and be more eco-friendly, with your, or budget-friendly rather. But you're not you're trying to go to the next step up from the the fossil, but you're also not trying to break the bank. Citizen is really good. Um, still haven't seen the eight hundred dollar uh, Citizen Eco Drive in action, um, but uh, this is a great alternative. Maybe it was. It was probably in the two to four hundred dollar range. So sorry, I don't remember exactly how much it was. And then uh, obviously the Rolex Submariner, um, my my baby for the moment, uh, until I get the urge to buy another watch, which it hasn't been for about two years or so. So, all right, thanks for stopping by, and I hope you guys uh, enjoy my tour of the uh, the quick watches I have. Uh, maybe another day, I'll show you guys the other three or four that I have. Uh, just lying around the house. But otherwise, have a good one.